Good evening guys, Tony here, Friday night, it's July the 9th, and um, had some interesting things happen, some interesting stuff that I want to talk about, um, and before I start, um, since I've got the phone on the stand, and you happen, if you, at, if you happen to see the, the crescent moon, I just want to make sure you know what this is, it's South Carolina shirt, it's just a state flag, it's nothing weird, so just wanted to let you know in case you get a glimpse of that and you're wondering what it is. Anyways, guys, if you haven't come to the Lord Jesus Christ, do it now. We are so close. Um, if you're not, um, if you're not sure if you're going to go to heaven if you die or if you're going to go in the rapture when it happens, um, all you need to do is believe the gospel, trust in Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, died on the cross and was buried and raised on the third day according to scriptures. Believe that with your heart. Confess it with your mouth. There's steps in the description. Guys, it's simple. Um, the gospel is very simple and um, very easy to understand. It's all about faith in Christ who saves us. God offers us a free gift through His Son. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Anyways, I'm um, going to get right to it. Uh, so today at work... Um, I was um, on break, and I was out in the uh, break area looking up at the sky, and it had just stormed. It just rained really hard, and the storm was moving out, and I thought it was weird that the thunder was just rolling constantly. It was just like um, from one end of the sky to the other. It was just nonstop, and I thought that was, you know, it wasn't really loud or anything, but it was just rolling, and it was, um, it was interesting. And then I heard three blasts of what, at first, see, there is a train track right next to... Uh, our neighbor or well, it's not you know it's a block from us so, so um we hear trains all the time and at first when it first started to sound that's what i thought it was until it sounded and then it, and it sounded it didn't sound like the train and um you know usually we hear the train running too i mean it's right there we can hear it i can hear it coming down the track i mean it, it shakes the ground and everything i mean you know we're pretty close but um i just heard the blast i heard it three times and it sounded like um, Brother Aaron got a minute. Um, it sounded like his shofar or, or John uh, watching for that great day. It sounded like it sounded like that kind of a shofar, not like mine. <clears throat> it was more deep, you know, had a deeper tone. It was very loud, but it was um, from a distance. You know, it was like a loud trumpet sound from a distance. Now I can't rule out anything in this because. First of all, I'm not at home. I'm not in the country. <clears throat> I'm, I'm in a small city, but I'm in a city, a very small city, <laughs> but I'm in a city nonetheless. And you know, there's people around. So I don't, I don't know. It didn't sound like it was coming from a person. It had, it sounded like it was coming from the sky. To be honest, and I, I don't know what it was, what it means, if it was anything, or if it meant anything. I just, I wanted to let you guys know that so you can, so we can, um, you know, document that it happened, in just in case. Just like with my other ones, I think it this one, this one disqualifies as at least a candidate for a possible shofar. Not like the other two I had; those were undeniable, in my opinion. This one, there's, it could be, may or may not be, but um, it certainly sounded like it. So um, that's why I'm in, I wanted to tell you guys. Otherwise, if if I had thought it was something else, I wouldn't even brought it up. So I believe that it was at least a very, very good possibility, and it happened. And um, I actually put it in my community post. Now I'm, I'm drawing blanks. It was 150. I think it happened, okay? When I looked at my clock after I was, I tried to get my phone out and I tried to record it all. So about a minute or two passed. So it was, it was, let's put it this way. It was between 150 and 152 or 153. It was somewhere in it. 150, 151, 152. It was in that area. Because I remember when I looked at the phone, it was 153 and flipped to 154 p.m. And that's Eastern Standard Time in South Carolina. Anyways, um, my son had heard something yesterday, and um, he had heard, also heard, well, I think it was yesterday. One day this week, my oldest son had heard, also thought that he heard a shofar blast too, and it was raining outside when it happened. So that was interesting as well. So we guys, we got a lot of good, um, there's a lot of good high watch dates this month. Um, you know, we had some interesting things happen in my last video. I was, I was showing you guys some stuff that my, my oldest son had some confirmations that he had in the Bible. And um, he has um, not made a video about those yet. I, I don't know if he's going to. Um, 
he lives in um an, another state and he's quite a distance from me so i don't um i don't know we don't we talk a little bit here and there but not all the time so i guess if he does he'll he's gonna let me know and then i'll let you guys know i can't remember anything about the dreams other than they were very apocalyptic that's all i can that's all I can tell you. There were tribulation days stuff. He's had a lot of tribulation day type stuff. He's had some really crazy dreams, and um, I wish that he would uh, make some videos and share them. But that's uh, that's up to him. Um, I'm not going to push him on the issue. Um, anyways, when he's ready, he'll do it um, for sure. I've had some interesting dreams lately. Um, I even had a rapture dream. A while, uh, while back, I mean, I've had some interesting dreams. I had a like a quick rapture dream. I'm pretty sure I'm actually may have already made a video about that. It was just a while back, but I've had a bunch of dreams lately, though, of like, like he said, it was like just apocalyptic stuff. You know, I can't even remember anything about them. It's just it was like really weird, um, apocalyptic scenes. Everybody was, and I dream about stuff like this a lot, where everybody's just all together in one spot, like they've been brought together. I don't know. It's weird. Weird stuff. But anyways, um, we got the, um, there's some dates coming up in June. And I'm pretty sure June the 10th is one of those. And um, I can't remember why now. And guys, it was something I was wanting to talk about. And that's the reason why I'm fumbling here. I can't remember what it was. I just, I thought I could wing this and it just absolutely evaporated out of my brain here. At any rate, we still got the 25th. Um, I believe the 25th and 26th is Barry All's big date. And um, it's interesting the things that are um, starting to happen. You got Joe Biden, and he's talking about going door to door for the, the jab. And um, there's some interesting things starting to develop here in the United States. Um, there's been interesting things happening. Things are happening all over the world. Guys, um, I, what I wanted to do when I originally at work today, what I was thinking about doing was just going over some things starting from last year some confirmations and i might just touch on a few of those but um we got when um out right here on this porch on this very porch last year in the spring there was an earthquake in on the virginia state line and um my wife felt it all the way down here in south carolina at her work which wasn't that big a deal. Lots of people felt the shock, the aftershock of that, of that earthquake. It was pretty massive, but it, the the shock wave was because there's some kind of a fault line that runs down, I believe. So that that's why it was failed so far down as far as Columbia, South Carolina. But here's the thing: what made that was super interesting is that I had a dream um, years ago. Uh, I'm talking probably within 15 years ago. I dream that we were in the, where, where her work is, that she's in a strip mall in a parking lot. And across the street, there's a gas station. And I mean, literally just um, right, um, right, uh, not even a block from the gas station on the sidewalk. There's still across the street from that strip mall where she works. I dreamed that we were walking up that sidewalk because we lived at one time down the road from there. And we, me and her and, and Tyler, my youngest son, because my youngest daughter, I don't believe was born yet. You know, she was before she was born, right before she was born. We were walking up that sidewalk. Military hel helicopters started appearing everywhere, and the ground started splitting open. First, the sidewalk, and then there were big lines of just earthquakes just started running every which way. Right in that very spot, they said, where she's works and where she felt that earthquake. I dreamed that. And then I dreamed that her and Tyler fell down in one of the cracks. And then it closed up on them, and I dreamed that I went running, um trying to find a place where I could jump in because in my dream I was trying to I guess I was trying to kill myself I was trying to jump in to be with them but uh, it was a, it was a pretty quick dream um, but what was what, what was really interesting is that she felt an earthquake right there and we have never I, in my whole life I've never at least of my knowledge of my I believe that there has been aftershocks felt in my areas of places where I've lived but I've never noticed and never felt them I didn't feel this one either but she did and she called me from work 8 30 in the morning and says she said tony i think we felt an earthquake i think we had an earthquake she said had an earthquake and she started explaining it to me and everything it felt like the floor was moving and everything i said whoa so that's when i made i'd already had this channel guys since like 2017 and i've had already had quite a few videos but they were just me like patching pictures together and you can go back and look at some of them they were kind of cheesy i tried to produce them a little bit try to make them interesting 
you know, Bible verses, interesting topics. You know, I was all about, you know, trying to connect paranormal to um, the Bible. And, you know, was, I was hoping to get people like send videos and pictures and, you know, just do something like that. But it really wasn't going anywhere. Um, I wasn't getting any views. No, um, I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't doing anything. But after that video, um, I believe that this is important. OK, I believe that was when God called me to do this thing because that I mean he, I believe he's been calling me to do it but I believe that's when he blessed it because from that moment on the channel started to grow guys oh and thank you by the way to all you go to my new subscribers and guys I'm, I'm not about um the subscribers and things I, I mean that's not why I do this I do this to spread the word of God but the uh, wonderful thing is the more subscribers you got the more views you get the more people see your videos so um, I, you know the more people can see these videos so I'm asking that you share if, you, if there's a video on here that you like, then, then share it with, with family and friends. Let's try to get some people saved before all this happens. But um, that's when it started to take off. And since then, I have had multiple dreams. That, that was a fulfillment. I mean, I wouldn't say that it was fulfilled exactly the way the dream was. But I know that God's been showing me these things. Even with my rapture vision, I think he's showing me time frames, not necessarily dates. Now, I've, I've done giving up on that, trying to thinking that God is showing me some kind of date because I don't think he is or ever was but I think what he was showing me was a time frame this year basically you know I believe that's what he was showing me this last year and this year was a part of a time frame and I believe that that, that when I started seeing the dreams fulfilled I think that's what God was telling me to look for when I start seeing these things just like with the the, the trumpet the shofar that blasted three three times three times three which is three 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 and Strong's concordance means to observe carefully <laughs> and so <clears throat> Now that I'm observing and all these dreams are starting to make, get fulfilled, you know, I had that one seems to have had a fulfillment, at least to give a time frame. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the way God's looking at it is like when you see this earthquake or when you when when it, when there's an earthquake connected to this dream, pay attention because the time is at hand. That's what I feel in my heart, my soul. Um, he hasn't literally said that to me. It's just what I feel. It's what I feel like the Holy Spirit's trying to show me. So then I've had another dream. I had another dream about a <clears throat> UFO in Union County, not Union County. Well, no, this was, um, it was in, it was in the Indian Trail, North Carolina. That's not, that's not Union County. Um, anyways, uh, that's, but it's not Mecklenburg County. It might be Union County. Anyways, it was a Indian Trail, North Carolina, which is, um, just right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And I had dreamed it when I was 10 years old, that this UFO came down <clears throat> people were walking towards it and the door was open. And a voice in my head, and I wasn't walking towards it, I was watching people, I was like there to observe in my dream, people walking towards it, and a voice in my head said, come towards the light, and they were coming out of their houses, and they were just like going towards the light of this UFO. And then as I was waking up, and immediately started to wake up, that same voice that said to come to the light said, fallen angels fly these crafts, and then I completely woke up. And it wasn't in my ears, now that's why I say it was in my head, I could hear the sound and it's really kind of hard to explain this, guys, I've just, this has never really happened in real life. But it was like it was inside of my head, but not coming into my ears. And there is actually a technology that they say that the government has, has and I want to say it's voice to skull technology, you guys can look this up, where they can actually send signals into your audio, audio nerves, or audio, however you call that, your, your ear, the nerves in your ear, directly into your brain. And bypassing the eardrum in other words like sending it into the nerves in your brain and causing you to hear things audibly but without without your ears it's like voices in your head so that's what it was like <clears throat> it was like a voice in my head telling me to come to the light i think that that's prophetic i think there's something to it but what brought up the fulfillment that i want to get to is that just recently and i had seen it originally on the paul begley um youtube channel he was uh talking about i like to watch he, he has a lot of good information about news and things that's happening in the world sometimes that we miss um because it's you know he gets like the first hand you know knowledge of some some of this stuff some of it's not really his first hand it's just you know but it's my it's the first time i'm hearing it's not on the news so um he says that um there is a ufo sighting in uh right outside of charlotte north carolina he said hundreds of people saw it okay and he said one guy, now this is, this is what caught my attention, because I mean, you know, there's been other sightings in Charlotte, it's not the first time. But what caught my attention was he said someone on the Indian Trail, and he began to explain what this guy saw. He said he saw the, as though they were, um, they knew that he was there and that they were moving these, you know, sporadic, 
you know, moving really fast and sporadically, but without making any sound. And I said, wait a minute. He's, uh, he's not saying he's on the Indian Trail. That guy's telling him that he was in Indian Trail. He's in, he's in, that's what, that's a little city or a little town. And um, so anyways, so I looked it up and found out and verified that that really was where it happened. It happened in the Indian Trail, the very place that I had my dream at 10 years old. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And so I think that these dreams are being fulfilled. And like with my rapture vision, you know, I had the, um, you know, my brother passed away on my birthday. I'd always thought that he was going to be in my vision. I mean, in the rapture with me, and in my vision, he was hunched over. And I, I dreamed this at 11 years old. It, it wasn't a dream, but I'm, I, I always say that. But I, it was a vision. I didn't dream it because I didn't have time to even go to sleep. I fell out of my, I laid down in the bed, closed my eyes, and like one, two, and all of a sudden, like I fell out of my body. I don't know what happened exactly. I can't tell you what happened. I don't, I'm not going to say that my spirit came out of my body necessarily, but I guess it is a possibility. I just don't know. I just really don't know what happened, but it felt like I came out of my body and went to another place in the future and I was grown up and um I was standing beside my house which I believe is this house now I was over on the other side looking towards the backyard to the left and to the backyard saw Kenny walking around my brother he was the only one in this in this vision walking around looking at the ground hunched over I've been telling people since I was 11 years old everybody in my family people that I don't even know that that he was walking around looking for something because that's what I always thought but he developed cancer. He winds up moving in with me and my brother Jack's gone and my sister's not coming back to visit me anymore because of, um, she just can't. She's um, un unable to. Um, so he's the, he was the only one left here in my life. I mean, you know, as far as coming around my house of my brothers and sister. And um, he developed cancer and moved back in with me right at the end there for the last few weeks. And then he was walking around with a hunch because he had been sleeping in the chair, sitting upright, and he developed a hunch in his back, and he was literally walking around hunched over. So that dream, that vision, um, whatever it was, the vision, um, it wasn't a dream, at least I, I'm, I'm quite certain it wasn't. If it was, it was the most, oh my goodness. Guys, it's, it's, it really happened as far as I'm concerned. I mean, even though it's impossible, I guess, because I, I, I shouldn't say it was impossible, but it wasn't like I actually was in the rapture, obviously, it didn't happen yet. But it was like steel frame anyways. I mean, nothing, the only thing moving was the glittery air, or, you know, I could see like the air moving around and the colors were brilliant. It was things in that, that just that short time, but it was like steel frame. Everybody was just in steel motion. All the people in white robes had this look on their face of awe. And um, like I said, Jesus was there. And um, at the time I thought, I, I, didn't, I didn't know about the rapture. I didn't know it was Jesus. I knew it was God. He had divinity all over him. He was, he was bright, super big and like 30 feet tall. Anyways, um, Kenny didn't, we, the rapture didn't happen, and Kenny passed away on my birthday. And I don't believe that God, and I know God showed me this, I, I truly believe with all my heart. And um, my whole life I have. And, and then I, I began to question, what was, what, what was I seeing if it wasn't the rapture? And then God kind of comforted me, you know, kind of felt like the Holy Spirit was telling me, okay, Kenny passed away on your birthday because you saw him. I literally saw him go first. I saw him light up with the light that was coming towards. This light was coming towards us. He he lit up, kind of like when you when a bug hits a bug zapper, he goes, or or like you put a blowtorch on something and it starts to glow. He's like he went, and then he, he vanished. And then it hit me, and I had to actually turn my head, and um, I didn't feel any pain. It was warmth. I thought it was going to burn. I thought it was a bomb. That's at ten years old with all the um, nuclear bomb. Day at the movie day after, day after and all that stuff. I thought it was a nuclear bomb, but um, he winds up passing away on my birthday. So I feel like I, I seen him go first, and I believe that's what the partial fulfillment that I'm talking about was that now that he has passed away on my birthday, and my birthday is being January the 21st, and we have all this 21st connections, you know, pointing to this year, even Revelation, the end of Revelation 20 and 21, 2021, the last two verses. So there's that. And then I had um, the Mark of the Beast uh, dream that I had where we went on, uh, these UFOs were coming down. One was playing ice cream truck music. It was luring people on like children. And me and my brother Jack was in the dream. And we went on, on board at this thing because we were like, they're, they're trying to get kids in here. We went in there, but it was like a stripped out Walmart. It was a big warehouse. It looked like a stripped out Walmart. or It could have been some huge warehouse, but it just... And you guys know what Walmarts look like. They're just, they're just boxy and they're just, you know, the way that the, the floor looks and everything. It looked like the inside of a Walmart that everything had been taken out of. Now, that's neither here or there. It doesn't matter. But 
But I was in that dream, there was SWAT team looking military people everywhere with black uniforms, masks, um, automatic machine guns. Um, we used to look like automatic rifles, forcing people into two different lines. And in the um, corner, it was in the corner of the building, on one corner of the building, right towards the corner, there was like, 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 like the, the walls come together like this. On this side was these two pods, and on this side there was these two pods, and they were big enough for a person to get inside of it. It looked like something off the movie The Fly, where they would like transport back and forth between the two. And in my dream, that's what I thought it was. But, I don't know that. I don't know, there's no reason to think that. Nothing in my dream told me that I wasn't making an assumption based on what it looked like. It could have meant anything, but I know this, that they had to go in the first line first, and then they had to do whatever they did inside those pods. Then they had to go over to the other line, and they had to do something in there. And then there was a, a big, um, in front of this particular set of pods, there was a big counter, like a big, um, you know, uh, you know, just a big counter, or bar-looking counter, like in the kitchen, you know, with a note, with a um, clipboard with paper on it and a pen where you sign you sign it to get the mark of the beast. And so, um, you know, that was my daughter ran up and she was in New York at the time. And, so, and you know, it, it was, it was kind of weird, but I was thinking that she was um, going to take it. And she come running up out of nowhere, hugged my neck. She said, daddy, I would never take the mark of the beast. I woke up, but it was obviously two different things, but each part had two different things. So it's like the first line had two different things. And, and, and then the second line had two different things. So I don't know what the mark of the beast is, guys. And I don't know if the jibba-jabba is part of it or not. But I think it is. It makes sense. And um, there's no way there's no way me and my family are taking that thing. And I, I, I don't recommend it to anybody. But, you know, it's just I recommend everybody don't. It's just an abomination. If you know what's in that stuff, you know it is. And it's also it's just dangerous. So anyways, it's untested. So then you got the other two which could have been the second part. So I don't know if it like could be a second one of those, if that's what that means, a second round of those. Who knows, guys, but it does seem like with the jibba-jabba and the two-part thing that it's partially been fulfilled. So it's like three dreams that have partially, at least partially, been fulfilled, and it put us in this time frame, 2021, again. And then not to mention all the other countless confirmations that I've, I've had with numbers, with the shofars. I heard, I heard an angelic choir. And I, I don't know for sure if it's an angelic choir, guys, but lots of people were hearing them. And I was out here that one night, and um, there was noise and stuff, and <clears throat> the wind was kind of whipping around. It was one of those nights where it felt like the Holy Spirit was moving anyways. And it was just one of those kind of nights. And I kept hearing this, oh. And it was very, it was like a choir. There's no choirs around here anywhere. But they were only playing two notes. And at first I thought it was over the traffic and all, I thought it was a, a radio playing down in this other neighborhood. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you hear like a radio playing off in the distance and all you hear is like the bass and stuff. So, you know, it's just like making the same tone again and again and again. But this thing lasted for 10 minutes. So I'm listening to that. I'm like, what is that? And every time the traffic would stop for a minute, it was, ooh. And I'm like, so I walked down, um, I'm gonna take the phone off here. I don't know if I can, well, yeah, you know what? I can't do that, but what I can do is this right here since I got on the stand. If you look down the driveway, look down the driveway and you look to the right, which would be y'all's left, I guess. You look that way there, right over there in that patch of trees across the street, that's where I heard the shofars. That's where I heard the, um, also heard the um, that choir of angels or whatever that was I heard in that patch of woods. And if you go over to the right, there's a road that goes down there and it goes way down. There's a neighborhood way down that road. Right there in the woods is where I heard the shofar. And that's where I heard that. And so I walked up to the road, not all the way to the road, but I walked over into, uh oh, I got a point. If you look over, yeah, this area right here, I walked over here, right around that area towards the ditch right there where the ditch is. I walked over there and um, I was like trying my best to hear it and because the traffic kept coming. All of a sudden, the traffic stopped. It just stopped. And uh, I could clearly hear it, it um, and, and it was, that's what I heard, guys. It was, it was, I got goosebumps all over me. It was, oh, it was more musically than that. Um, anyways, it, it sounded like a choir. And um, I'm saying, that might be a choir of angels that everybody's saying they're hearing. And I heard it for a while, and then I walked all the way back up to the, to the porch after a while, and I got tired of standing there. Uh, I was still marveling that because I could still hear it. 
you know, and then because traffic started coming again you know, at some point. And then, but I'm still marveling. I got back up here on the porch 10 minutes later. Finally, it stopped. It was about 10, might have been 15 minutes. I didn't look at the clock. I was kind of, you know, amazed and not really thinking about that. I wasn't even thinking about getting my phone to record it because the traffic and stuff, I don't think you would have been able to hear it anyways. I mean, it was just, it was off in the distance, but it was loud, pretty loud, and it was loud enough for me to hear it. Anyways, there's been a lot of stuff, guys. You guys have seen. I've had so many comments of, oh, yeah, and the door knocks. And then I heard, I thought some, I heard a voice say my name, but it was a female voice. You know, guys, I don't, I'm not saying that all this stuff is from God. And there's been a lot of people said, be careful, it might be demons. Look, I don't know what it was. And, and yeah, I mean, that's certainly a possibility, guys. But I mean, you know, I'm not led off into demonic uh, temptation that easy. <laughs> you know, I, I, the Holy Spirit's been teaching me my whole life. And I, I pray about these things. And um, let me put it to you this way. I have in no wise has any of these things that have happened to me felt demonic or weird or dark or any of that kind of stuff. They've all felt wholly inspired. Now, that doesn't mean that they were. I'm not saying that they were. I believe the Bible, and that is my bottom line truth. That's the only thing that I trust. Except, you know, I do trust the Lord. And when he gives me um, confirmations over confirmations. And, and, that's, and that's what he's kind of done with these things. He's giving me confirmations over the confirmations so i trust that it, it was from him but i'm not saying that it was telling us a date i'm not saying anything i'm thinking maybe if anything he's confirming that there's a timeline that we're in it now we know we're in the season guys this that's kind of obvious so really wouldn't be no point in telling you that or, or even god telling me that i mean you can see the signs in the world and know that's happening why would he need to confirm to us this time for one thing, to encourage one another, but next, because we are even even all the more close right now than we've ever been. And um, so, guys, I say be encouraged because um, I believe this is the year. Um, could be this month, could be in September. You know, all the, the shofar and things with the dates and all kind of pointing to September. That doesn't mean it's the rapture. That could be mean the sword's coming because, I mean, I heard a shofar, and that's it was the kind of shofar that I got. It was that kind of sound, and that kind of shofar was used to warn people of danger so there's that so if God was warning us or war or showing me so I could warn you or whatever that the sword is coming soon and it could be pointing to September so there's that so that set I believe that September is is gonna be you guys this is this is an opinion I, I, I don't know this for sure I'm just guessing that, that this that September the fall season the Feast of Trumpets, or right after the Feast of Trumpets, I believe that they could be when, this, when the tribulation starts. So that means we're leaving before then. And I, I don't know if it's this month. I don't know if it's August. Could be the 1st of September. But I believe if, 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 if the sword is coming, in other words, if, if the tribulation is coming, the devil's coming down, we got to be gone first. So um, there's a lot of reasons to believe us this year. Guys, if you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, do it. Time is running out. Um, it's so easy to get saved. Jesus loves you guys. He loves us all. He gave his life for us. He laid it down willingly. Um, he, 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 he made a way for us to reconcile with God through his blood so that we could go to heaven, so that God could give us all the things that he always wanted to give us that we have separated ourselves from him because of our sin he can now give to us through christ if you only believe if you don't accept christ there is no salvation without him jesus says i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes unto the father except through me jesus is the door brother aaron today had a video about all about the doors in the bible it's mentioned so many times guys you can't ignore these things there's a reason why a door is mentioned so many times in the Bible. Jesus is the door. He is the way, the truth, and the life. All you have to do is believe and trust in him. Um, not just believe necessarily. I mean, you know, not just say the prayers. This is, a, this is something you have to truly, you have to believe it. You have to accept that Jesus really is the son of God. And that God sent him faith like a child, guys. What do you have to lose? I mean, by accepting him, you have everything to gain. And without him, you have everything to lose. So this is a, this is a no brainer. You know, if you don't believe in God, you don't, um, you know, what's it going to hurt? What's it going to hurt to accept Christ? 
You know, what's it going to hurt to believe? You know, okay, well, I can't believe because it just, uh, I got to see it to believe it. Go out on a limb. Take a chance. Take a chance on Jesus because in the end, you have eternal life to gain and eternal hell to gain if you don't. Um, I mean, this Christianity is not is not supposed to be a religion. A religion. It's a relationship with the Almighty, and He came down. He was the Word of God. Jesus was the Word of God. He was God. He came down as a man in the flesh, and dwelt among us. But He was the Word of God. So God Himself came down in, 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 into a, into a man's into the body of a man born in a virgin so that he could break the curse that man has had ever since the Garden of Eden when he fell from grace and was promised death because of it. Um, all you got to do is believe, guys, and do it now. I, I, would, I would say that time is really, truly running out. Get saved. Spread the word. I love you all so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.